everyone, it's Jessica and welcome to my channel. So I have recently, when, when I say recently, I mean like three, four, five months ago, I have discovered this company that I honestly fell in love with. So if I remember correctly, I want to say like back in September or October, of 2019 is when I found this company and the company is called Ali Ella and it is a company that is founded by two women and they're actually sisters and I feel like the company as a whole is just absolutely wonderful. I'm doing a bit of research and from what I have found is that a lot of their items are made ethically and sustainably, which is something that has become very important to me. And I also love the fact that the products that they create are geared towards women of all stages of life and also geared towards children and different stages of childhood. And one of the products that I purchased for myself as one of my Christmas gifts, so I purchased this, I want to say like at the end of December, and this was one of my last like big purchases I would say before I went and decided to, you know, just be more conscious of how I was spending my money. Um, and it was one of the items from their site. And this is technically for a child but I just fell in love with it when I saw it. It is called <laughs> a Dincom doll, and I'm just going to grab it out of the box so that way I could actually share it with you guys. But before I share it with you guys, I do just kind of want to do a little bit of a background story on the Dincom dolls. So number one, they are created with 100% cotton on the outside and then obviously like any normal kind of like plush or doll it does have you know some stuffing and stuff like that but the line of them themselves there are six different ones to choose from and I will go ahead and insert a picture and they're all different color skin tones and they're all different you know eye shapes and hair color and I just think it's wonderful because obviously there are all different skin tones of people in this world as well as children and hair colors and eye shapes and so I really really love the fact that they started this line with a decent amount of options to choose from for parents, especially if they want to get the doll to represent their child. Um, a lot of times you go into stores and baby dolls kind of only come in like two colors. It's very rare to find some more um, different types of ethnicities and different hair colors and things like that. So I have a feeling they'll probably broaden the line a bit. But from them just jumping out and starting the line, it's really awesome that there were six different options. And the little story about the Dincom doll is actually on the back of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. It says, a Dincom doll sits here waiting to find a child who is loving, caring, and kind. To share life's adventures, there's so much to do. Just one special child, could it be you? Cuddle them, dress them, style their hair, change their diaper or leave them bare. Pull up their socks, stand them tall. Whoever they'll be, it's for you to choose. You see, each Dinkum doll is different, like each one of us are. Each Dinkum is special, the most special by far. Each one wears a rainbow right over their heart and each one is searching for their kind counterpart. And it says that if you purchase a Dincom doll, a portion of each proceeds helps fund children's education initiatives around the world. And also with them having the different array of skin tones and hair colors and eye colors, etc., they are also gender neutral. So you could have your child make them a little boy or a little girl or a mix of two. It really doesn't matter. Everything is unisex for them, which again, I think is absolutely amazing. So the one that I purchased is the peanut doll. 
and it comes in this adorable little cardboard box and something else that I love about these dolls is the embroidery that they have on their eyes and their mouth and there's also a little rainbow embroidery on their chest and the reason why I picked this one was because I wanted one that kind of would represent me but also would represent potentially mine and Chris's child because he has darker features so he has dark eyes and dark hair. I am more dirty blonde and I have hazel eyes and um, I just, this is the one that I just kind of felt the most connected to and that I felt could be the most universal for either myself or to pass it down to, you know, one of our children when that time comes. I'm just absolutely in love and they are like a plush doll and then they have like the PVC BPA free um, little rubber shoes and everything you can change and they also give you different options clothing wise to purchase which is something that I did as well and the little outfit set that I purchased came in this adorable little suitcase, which is kind of like a hard cardboard. And it has a dress. It also has a little hairband as well as another pair of shoes and like a passport. And this is how it is packaged. Now, as a child, this would have been something that I would have absolutely loved to receive just because it's so unique, but also I love the way that it looks kind of vintagey and like an old style doll, which is something that Ollie Ella specializes in, is like vintage apparel where it kind of reminds you of like a prairie girl dress. And then a lot of the other products that they make just feel like old, like something that you know someone would have had in like the 1800s and things like that so I think that's why I gravitate towards this company so much because those things are incredibly appealing to me and they just make my heart so happy so I'm gonna go ahead and take out the little dress which is kind of like this rosy color I feel like the camera is making it seem a little bit darker than it is in real life but that is the little dress that you have. The vibe is obviously very much like a normal baby doll, but just more special and more thoughtful. And Sophie, do you have to be in the Ali Ella box? Hello, ma'am. Must you? You can sit, but you don't gotta bite the box and make a bunch of noise, okay? Okay? Back to what I was saying. So the dress also comes with this little knotted hairband, which is so adorable. If I can go ahead and get it to focus a little bit, you know, the camera struggles. And then it also comes with a little pair of the shoes that are basically the same as the one that the dolly comes with, but these ones are just like a little pinky nude color, which I love so much. And then even on the bottom, I don't know how well that this is going to pick up, but there's a little rainbow, which is so cute. And that's basically the design of the rainbow that's embroidered on the doll's chest. 
And then it also comes with this super adorable little passport with stickers. Oh my God, this is so cute. Okay, so I didn't actually open this when I opened the box, but it gives you a section to name your little dolly. And also it asks, you know, like hair color, eye color, all of the things. It does come with some stickers. And there's little things in here that says, I love to explore with you. Where have we been to? Where shall we go? And it's got like little coloring pages and I guess it's kind of like a little book, which is absolutely adorable. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I, I looked at that because I didn't prior to. And then the last item that I purchased was the Dinkum Doll cardigan in the color rose. And this is just so adorable. It's just like this light pink rose colored cardigan with some little buttons. And I believe this was knit, hand knit as well. And it's just something that I find so incredibly adorable, but also very diverse for the options that they have so it just makes me so happy and I'm so glad that I found this company that has a lot of the same values that I have and you know that took the time to create this um, but also make it attainable for so many different types of people it just makes my heart so happy so that is why this was kind of one of my last purchases I had saw it when they first released it and I just, you know, fell head over heels for it because obviously I have a soft spot for toys and plushies and stuff like that. But this one just felt really, really special to me. And so I kept, you know, pulling it up, looking at it, trying to figure out which one I would get. And then I finally decided to go ahead and purchase it as one of my Christmas gifts to myself. I'm actually going to leave all of Ali Ella's links in the description box down below for you guys. So that way you guys can go ahead and check it out and kind of read about them and you know how they started and, and all of the things. And if it's something that you guys are interested in as well, then the link is there for you guys to you know go ahead and check out. And one of the main reasons why I decided to sit down and film this video and kind of just go over the product itself with you guys is because I actually was doing research before I even purchased it because I wanted to kind of know more about it. I wanted to see it up close and see the different textures and quality of the items. But when I was on YouTube, there wasn't very many videos that actually featured this, which was very shocking to me. And I just felt like, you know what? Like if I can film this video and show somebody who is interested in this company as well as this product, then I would be super helpful. And it's kind of a video that I would have wished <laughs> existed. Um, so that is part of the reason why I decided to film that. But also, I wanted to film this before I actually did my Ali Ella haul because again, I did purchase some items towards the end of the year and there are items that I absolutely love and adore and will have in my possession for many, 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 many years to come. And I wanted to go in depth on the Dinkum doll beforehand so that way if anybody had clicked on that video prior to this one, then I can just link it for them and then they can get the more in depth view of the Dinkum doll itself. Thank you guys so, so much for joining me today. I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up letting me know that you guys did and also comment down below if you guys are gonna go and check them out. Um, even if you're just shopping for, you know, your child or your grandchild or something like that, just comment down below and then also let me know after you go and check out Aliella what your favorite product is because I have a literal list of products that are my favorite from them. Also, if you guys haven't already and you'd like to, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single Thursday and they vary from every single week what type of content 
content it will be so I'm sure there is something here that you guys would love and enjoy and also just so you know if you click the notification bell you will get notified when that brand new video goes up so it's kind of helpful I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys for the next video bye oh ma'am this is a literal case of if I fit, I sit. And she is all about it. Hi, self. Um, hello? Do you want to get out of there? <laughs> I don't know why you're trying to turn around. You can't even move in there.